Okay, this should be the easiest page of all. Because if you recall, our sketch simply says that the last page has two pictures here, some text in between, some text here, and the whole background is black. Okay, let's go ahead and do the background first. Make sure you're in the right layer. I'm on the, my, my image layer, so that's good. I'm going to select the box. Draw a box. Now I have my black background. Great. Next, I am going to go ahead and bring the images that I want to use. Okay, here's the image. I'm going to go ahead and place it here for now. And then I need another image, which I am going to go ahead and also retreat from the same source that I'm using these images. Okay, once I have placed the images where I want them, I go to page number one. So I'm going to go back to page number one. I'm going to go here and I'm going to go ahead and look at my layers. I want the text, so I'm going to unlock the text layer and I'm going to select this, this, I'm holding the shift key, and this text. Then I want to go ahead and go to edit copy. Then I'm going to go ahead and jump to the other fourth page and I'm going to go ahead and paste. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and move this over. Then I'm going to go ahead and click here, put this logo in there, and that's it. I have a four page brochure that conveys my opinion to come and visit New Orleans. Okay, the last step here is going to be to save what I have as a PDF so I can print it and carry it with me wherever I go. So again, I'm going to go ahead and make sure the page number four, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and select this text right here and I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. There we go. I'm going to resize the box. So I really want to get that. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and center it. Okay, that's good. And this one could be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. Say 72, make the box a little bit bigger. There you go, New Orleans. And then the new, gonna make it a little bit bigger too. And then take my selection tool. Now I have exactly what I want. Okay, let's go ahead and save this as a PDF. I'm gonna first save my document. Also, if you choose export, you can sign internet change, which will be a version that earlier versions of InDesign can open. So that's one way you might want to do, save this. But if you just save it to print or for print, you can go to File, Adobe PDF Presets, High Quality Print, give it a name. And then go ahead and click Save. And this will go ahead and give you the following uh, window. And for this one, you're going to press the button that says export. OK, that's fine. Click OK. It's OK. Click OK. And then and once it does its thing, you should be able to go ahead and look at what you got. Let's go ahead and open up the folder. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the brochure. And here we go. Now there's a couple errors here that I'm noticing, but that's okay. I can fix those. Mainly the first page on the first page it cut off this right here. You see this bar right here? Let's fix that. Because that's not really what we intended to do. You see, on the first page, we using the master page, which puts the bar right here. We're gonna exclude the first page from the master pages. So to do so, let's open the master pages. Click on none and drag and drop on the first page. And now, voila, it's gone. Now we can go ahead and save and do the export to high quality print again. This is the PDF, the final PDF. You have this and this and this and this. And it looks pretty darn cool. That's how you make a brochure from scratch. Now, if you start to see some anomalies like this bar right here, that's not actually part of what you uh, created. Sometimes you see some anomalies. 
and you just kind of need to trust trust your design instinct and make sure that uh you know you trust it that's how it's supposed to be see i didn't do anything except reload the image so we went from something that looked like this to something that looked like this we went to something that looked like this or the finished product like this from something that looked like this and from something that looked like this to something that looked like this and finally we got this but we would not have gotten there without starting first here till the next class keep on creating